In chapter 3, you will work on designing a newsletter. Like in the brochure, you do not leave pre-written pre text in the document. You either fill in your information or delete the pre-written text. You need to make sure you make the document complete. Do not leave gaps in the document where you delete information and not fill in text. Instead of leaving blank empty space, you need to use clipboard or a picture that will fill that space appropriately. You can move to different pages in the newsletter through your navigation pane. As you click on the thumbnails in the pane, you will have access to that page. You can change your page design by clicking on options in the template grouping of the page design tab. Oops, sorry, click don't change template. Um, you can also change the number of pages by adding a page or deleting a page. You can also click on the options to manipulate the columns. Each newsletter will have a mass head that can be edited. The mass head is the box or section that includes the name, publisher, location, volume, and date. You can edit this just as you do any of the other options or objects in the document. You can uh, import text in the newsletter. You click the placeholder text, display the insert tab, click the insert file button, and then you locate your file and the text to be inserted. If you are asked to flow text, you select yes. If you want to break a line and have the text in a different location, you click on text, pools, text box tools format and click on the link to break the link. <clears throat> you can click on text and overflow button and then move your uh, the picture uh, mouse pointer to the location where the text is to appear and click. You select the third column <coughs> on page one. If you right click, you can choose format text box, select text box and then you click in the check box to include continued on page and click OK. This will help you to overflow the text into the different columns. You can also have a pull quote. A pull quote is on page 2. You select the text that is to be placed for a pull quote. Oh gosh, I can't talk today. Pull quote Press Control C to copy, or you can click the copy icon. Click in the pull quote area. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the side area of the document, and you click paste. Make sure you keep text only button to accept the designation format. Some of the other things you can add in a newsletter is your clip art advertisements and these are placed in the newsletter as they are with all other documents. Once you have read and followed all directions in the textbook, this is what your final project will look like. You will have a newsletter, I'm going to minimize this so you can see the whole thing, you will have a newsletter with page 1, 2, and 3 and four. So you've got an, you will have a newsletter with four pages. When you're creating these for your own place of employment, you have to make sure you take the time to create your stories. 
whether it's in Word or typing them directly in the newsletter document. If you're not using a portion of the newsletter, make sure you delete the text and fill in the space so it appears complete.